Pittsburgh wants the clock to Marchman. Looking for Gauthier. Ready, Gauthier scores! Mason Marchman with his first NHL point right there. Puts it right on the spot. If we could go back in time, I don't think Toronto would do what it did. When you remember the trade, did you see it coming? Did you have any idea? No, it was a uh, it was a crazy week for me. I we, so we I was in the Marlies. We had a three and three at home. After the three and three, I was on I was kind of on a little bit of a hot streak. Side of the goal, scores! Marchman We're getting a look at Ryan Marchman, former rough defenseman, 17 seasons in the National Hockey League, and a proud dad of this young man. They called me up to play the next night in Buffalo. Next night we flew to Pitt. Uh, I got a good bag skating in. <laughs> and then uh, they told me I'm flying home to play the next day at 9 a.m. So I get there, I get there at 7 a.m. I'm looking at the sheet to see where I'm slotted in the lineup and I'm not on there. So I kind of went out, went to the coach's office and I said, you know, I'm not on the lineup. And they're like, yeah, we, we know, like, um, we want you to get some rest. So I was like, okay, like, can I go home and sleep? Because I haven't slept in a couple of days. So, um, you know, and then within like 10 minutes, they called me and, um, yeah, and then the trade happened. So what would you think? I was pretty disappointed. It was like a family to me there. I was there for five years. And I remember after that trade, I had a big chip on my shoulder. You know, like I thought I would. You're a marchman. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So I thought, you know, I thought I deserved a, you know, a better chance maybe to play in Toronto. and. When I got to go to Florida, I thought, you know, I'm going to make this team. Marchman is in. Marchman to the net. The shot. He scores. First NHL goal. Mason Marchman. So all of a sudden, you're a 20-goal scorer in the NHL. How did you notice things begin to change for you? Eventually, I just kept getting more comfortable with the puck and being able to make more plays. And, you know, I think that's a lot of what being in the NHL is, is having that confidence mm -hmm. in yourself. On behalf of the Marchman family and the San Jose Sharks organization, I want to express our sincere thanks for the outpouring of love and support that we have received over the last 24 hours in response to the sudden loss of our beloved friend and colleague, Brian Marchman. I just wanted to ask you the necklace that you wear. Can yeah. you tell us a little bit about it? I don't have it on right now, but um, yeah, it was a necklace that my mom had uh, made up for me. Uh, it was one of my dad's old pendants that he uh, he had when he played in uh, Belleville. And uh, yeah, it's got his uh, birth uh, animal on there. And on the back, it just says, I'll always be with you. So it's uh, something that, you know, I love to have close to me. And there was something you want, a message you wanted to send. I know you haven't talked about this yet. So there was something you wanted to say a thank you. You know, I just want to thank everyone that reached out to me and um, you know, you know, share their condolences and you learn like a lot about, um, you know, what I did for the hockey community and, um, you know, what he meant to people uh, was pretty, pretty special. This past summer, you hit the free agent market and there yeah. was a lot of interest. Yeah. And it looked like you were going to Carolina and then yeah. you ended up in Dallas. Can you take us through that process? You know, Carolina was one of the teams that was interested early and you know we had good talks but it ended up being kind of more of a family um, decision more than anything you know at the end of the day when um, both offers came in it kind of just felt right for me to go play in Dallas obviously Caroline's got a great team and I told them it was mostly to do with family so my whole career I've been trying to want someone to want me on their <laughs> team you know um, so to be someone that, you know, teams now that they, they know I'm out there and they know they want me on mm -hmm. their team. And, um, you know, that was definitely one of the cooler days I've ever had. The dog centers, Marchment scores! Mason Marchment bites the lamp and gets Dallas on the board. In the back of my head, I feel like there's definitely people that think, oh, I can't believe this guy made it, you know? Like, <laughs> <laughs> you could barely skate, right? So, um, you know, it's, but that's something I, I love doing is proving people wrong. And, mm -hmm. you know, like I said, I'm a gamer, so you tell me I can't, I'm gonna.